10-year-old who suffered a drive-by gunshot wound to the neck. He is unable to move his right side and can't feel his left side. All right, you have your scenario, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab whatever your cheat sheet is, Brazo tape, hand heavy, but just remember, red has to go to the head and then you measure to the heel. So you can see clearly this child falls into the green zone. All right, on to Scott for a quick tip. So when it comes to spinal cord injuries, the most common one, regrettably, that we think of is a complete. And a complete means you completely trash your spinal cord. And to no surprise, below that level, you can't move, you can't feel. That one's easy. However, for reasons unbeknownst to me, because in real life, it's incredibly rare, but on trauma tests, they love to ask questions that involve something called Brown's Accord. And Brown's Accord means top to bottom, you literally cut your cord in half. And if you vertically cut your cord in half, you can't move one side, you can't feel the other. That's too much to remember. So if you're taking National Registry or in the ER taking CEN or CPEN, one of the Alphabet Soup certification classes, right? Remember, the way that you recall Brown Secord is simple. Brown hyphen Secord. Of the various syndromes out there, the only one that has the name cut in half with a hyphen is Brown Secord. And if the test question describes somebody whose cord is cut in half, pick the answer that is cut in half with a hyphen as well. So if your cord is cut in half, Brown hyphen Secord is the answer that they're looking for.